Quentin Tarantino is a beautiful man. Perhaps not by conventional beauty standards, with his features that some might describe as duck-like, or his vague resemblance to a character from Code Lyoko. But the fact is that he's an interesting fellow to look at. And of all the images that exist of America's favorite foot enthusiast, my favorite of all time are this series of images of him aimlessly milling about an apartment, just looking at all the things. Yep, that's a kitchen all right. That sure is a mirror. Those cups are just for decoration, don't touch them. I was clearly not alone in being completely fascinated by these images in ways that I find difficult to articulate, because every time they would pop up, it seems like they went viral all over again. And to this day, they still circulate from time to time. But what I didn't know is that within these images, there's contained an even more absurd story. So for this episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at Quentin Tarantino wandering around an apartment. This video is brought to you by Shudder. You know I'm a big horror movie fan, and Shudder is basically the Netflix of horror. With the internet's best selection of thrillers, horror, and suspense for $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year, you'll never get bored with new movies and shows added every week, and you can stream on all of your favorite devices. Personally, I spent most of 2020 re-watching my old favorites. Like Sleepaway Camp, which features some of the most finely crafted kills of any 80s slasher film, and one of the most infamous endings in film history. But I also missed a lot of the great movies that came out last year, so I'll be making my way through Shudder's new Best of 2020 collection to see what I missed. And if you want to go deeper, Shudder has a massive selection of horror movies from around the world, from classics to modern favorites with a huge range of subgenres. Get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes must-see titles like Color Out of Space, Host, The Mortuary Collections, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit Creepshow TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead. To try Shudder for 30 days, just go to Shudder.com and use promo code WANG. That's S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com. I know it's such a cliche film bro thing for me to say, but Quentin Tarantino is one of my favorite directors. Like if somebody was quizzing me about it, I'd probably say Kitano or Cronenberg, but Tarantino's definitely up there. And if I'm being completely honest, probably the main reason why I did go to school for film. He just has a way of taking ideas from these fringe subgenres of film that already resonated with me and elevating them to a higher level. And although I feel like he's fallen out of favor with a lot of people in the past, years, I'm still a fan, even of his newer stuff. But this video isn't about Tarantino's movies. It's about that notorious series of photographs of him aimlessly wandering around an apartment. Ever since I saw them, I think it was about a year ago, I don't think a week has gone by where I haven't thought about them at least once. At some point, I even took the time to Photoshop the jar into the teacup image. There's just so many questions and so few answers, it's hypnotic. The way he's taking in these mundane surroundings like he's in some kind of a museum. There's nothing particularly unusual about the apartment aside from, you know, the ornate tea set behind glass that he's staring at with a somber look as if hundreds of men died in a war for that teapot. But some people have tea sets that they care deeply about, so I guess it's not that strange. And it's not like he's never been in a house before, I mean, Quentin Tarantino is not a wild animal. He just looks like he's bored, waiting around for maybe his ride to come pick him up. Just pacing around until he gets the call. And maybe he was, but then you have to ask, why was someone there taking pictures of that? Was it a photo shoot for some kind of a magazine interview? I mean, I guess I could see it having the kind of vibe, like maybe it's supposed to be some kind of tell-all that shows us the real side of Quentin Tarantino. We're gonna explore his childhood trauma or some shit like that. But it still kind of feels awkward, even for that sort of thing. These photos would occasionally make their way around Twitter with hundreds of people being as entranced with them as I was, and as quarantine set in, people would joke around about how this is what their life is like now. Just walking around their apartment not knowing what to do with themselves all day. But every time these images pop up, it just goes back to that question. Why do these images exist? Well, in the replies to some of these viral posts, people would point to Russia. Honestly, what is the real purpose of these pictures? Well, the truth is really that simple. It's Quentin Tarantino having a look around some rather old-school and actually not super common Russian apartment during his visit to Moscow. 
Why would anyone need this photo set is beyond understanding. His reaction is as expected. There were a lot of versions of this explanation floating around, and while it doesn't specifically tell us why they exist, it gives us some context. So let's take a look at Quentin Tarantino's Russian trip. It was August of 2019. Tarantino's most recent film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, had premiered that past May at the Cannes Film Festival to much critical acclaim, although being beaten out by Parasite for the Palme d'Or Award. It did, however, have an award winner in Sayuri the Pitbull, who was awarded the Palme Dog Award for her performance as Brandy. With its US theatrical release behind him in July, Quentin Tarantino began to embark on a world tour to promote the movie, and its Russian stop was scheduled for August 7th. On that date, Quentin Tarantino would be doing a special live presentation of the film for the press. Nice of Dwayne Johnson to lend Quentin Tarantino the Rock's $500 shirt. The official theatrical release of this film in Russia would be on August 8th, the day after, and it became a box office hit in Russia, earning over 500 million rubles in its opening weekend and becoming Tarantino's highest grossing film in the country to date. But what was perhaps more newsworthy was Quentin Tarantino's adventures in Moscow the day prior. Tarantino had not been to Russia since 2004, so Russia's culture minister Vladimir Medinsky invited him on a tour. From the reporting, it seems that Tarantino might have been a bit reluctant to go on this tour. It didn't really go into specifics, but he mentioned to the press a few times that he wasn't really there to see the Russian government and he had his disagreements with the government, and he was mainly in the country to see the Russian people, the fans of his films. In any case though, he did agree to Medinsky's tour and was taken around the Kremlin and the Red Square. When asked about the tour, Medinsky had this to say. He was very emotional and interested in Russian history. He was completely shocked by Moscow, Medinsky told state-run RA Novosti news outlet on Thursday. He was shown around all the old chambers. We went from holes from the 15th century to those of the 19th century like a time machine. By all accounts, Tarantino had a good time on this tour and commented about how shocked he was at the country's improvement since 2004. The trip also gave us so many amazing photos of Quentin Tarantino looking at stuff. Some of it seemingly genuinely taking in the beauty of centuries old artwork, and others kind of doing that thing where you look, you want to look interested in something you're looking at because someone else is looking at you looking at it. It's like when you're on the Price is Right and you think you're gonna get a new car, but then it's, oh, it's not a new car, it's a dining set. Here's some plates. I'm so excited for this dinette set. But wait, what's this? That pose looks kind of familiar. Oh wait, this is the exact pose from the apartment. Clearly, someone had taken Quentin Tarantino's photos from the Kremlin and photoshopped them inside the apartment, but why? Although I'm sure any Russian viewers might be familiar with the sequence of events here, the English-speaking world got kind of uh, a garbled mess of conflicting accounts about it. A combination of the language barrier and stuff just kind of gradually filtering through, through some kind of online osmosis. So according to some people, this was simply the work of shit posters from Russian social media on sites like VK, just making a meme out of photoshopping him into different places. This was actually the version of the story that I was led to believe at first. Although that being said, these photoshopped images did wind up becoming a meme in and of themselves. Like this one that made the rounds on VK. It says, trying to find dad's booze stash. Basically the same way that English speakers would eventually use the format. Other accounts led to the story of a man named Alexander Kainov. On August 11th, Alexander made a post announcing that he was selling his three-room apartment in the city Chelyabinsk. The photos of the apartment for sale include photos of Quentin Tarantino checking the place out, maybe looking for a vacation home in his new favorite country. A lot of people have attributed the origin of the apartment photos to Alexander's post. However, only two of the viral ones appear here. The one with the painting behind him and the one where he's looking at the tea set. There's several other photos included of Quentin checking out a very different apartment with not as high of a caliber of Photoshop. In fact, a lot of the comments from people on the post were criticizing Alexander's Photoshop skills, as well as Quentin's dinosaur hands. In any case, Alexander's post did go viral, causing a lot of media outlets to get in touch with him, including RIA's Realty Branch, who wanted to see if his post going viral helped him sell the apartment. We haven't managed to sell an apartment yet, but in five hours, there were about 6,000 views of the ad. Viral marketing turned out to be very interesting. Selling an apartment is not the first goal. There's no hard need for a sale. In the first place is the desire for creative implementation. 
There are no active buyers yet, but maybe it will reach Tarantino himself. People like it. I am satisfied with the result. The idea itself is very interesting. In reality, Alex's posting was most likely inspired by what's, as far as I can tell, the real origin of these images. A tweet a few days prior by Yandex Realty, the branch of the Yandex Corporation that promises to help you find your dream home. When I came to view the apartment, original photos Valerie Sharifulin TASS. Basically, an employee of Yandex sat down and made these photoshops just for a Twitter post, and they wound up going all over the place, completely removed of their original context. And hats off to them, because these are absurdly high-quality photoshops. The way they perfectly matched up not just the lighting, but color-corrected his skin and clothes so that he fits in the apartment seamlessly. I mean, now that I know they're not real, I can pick out little things that are inaccurate, but I would never have really known otherwise. So for all the American corporations on Twitter, you know, trying to be uh, epic chungus memorinos, I guess the Russians got you beat. But anyway, that's all for now. If you like this video, check out my other video about another famous Russian internet story, One Guy, One Jar. I'm out.